Competitive 6v6 Elimination is back. It just kind of showed up one day in the arcade, and it's going to disappear equally out of nowhere someday in the future. So if you really want to go play it, you should probably do it quickly, because it's, in my opinion, probably the best competitive arcade game mode. And who knows how long it's going to stick around. I certainly don't, but if I had my druthers, it'd be around all the time, because it's basically like... 3v3 elimination, but with no responsibility whatsoever. And I don't just mean because there's no objective, even though there is no objective, thank god. It's it's also because there's like a diffusion of responsibility, by which I mean, in a team-based game like Overwatch, the fewer players there are on the field, the more important it is that each member of your team actually know what they're doing. So in actual 3v3 elimination, the original game mode that the elimination game mode was designed for, if you suck, then your team is probably going to lose. Uh, but in contrast, for 6v6 elimination, there's so many dudes running around the map that it doesn't matter how much you suck. You can play pretty much whatever you want, and there's so many players running around in this glorified deathmatch that all you need is like one or two people on your team that actually know what they're doing, and they'll be able to carry you for the rest of it. You can just be like me. Just play the support classes. Just run around and heal your teammates and trust that they know what they're doing, because it only takes a few of them to know what they're doing, and you're just gonna probably win. I've won most of my competitive matches, which is saying something, because Lucio's the only character I actually play and I wasn't even allowed to play him the entire time because as soon as you win a round on a hero all six of those heroes are locked off and I guess that's kind of cool too like nobody else knows what they're doing either because the heroes we actually know how to play get locked off so quickly you have to play weird shit like Genji and Mei and actually make it work now if I were Jeff Kaplan and got to say where Blizzard should go from here I'd say you know hell with it let's let's we started at 3v3 now we've upgraded to 6v6 let's keep that gravy train going I want to see 12v12 competitive elimination by this time next Next year. Because yes, I have not forgotten about that 12v12 glitch. It was the best glitch Overwatch has ever had, and if we could get that into the actual game ever, that would be really cool. But I mean, okay, we both know that that's never actually going to happen, and for the time being, 6v6 elimination, you know, I'll just have to take what I can get. But speaking of upcoming Blizzard things, I feel like everybody has either forgotten or because nobody's talking about it, but every year the Archives event has come out next week. First time it was on April 10th, next time it was on April 11th, so but even worst case scenario, which is April 12th, we should be getting the Archives event within like one week or so, which is really cool in my personal opinion because it's like the one season that Blizzard actually bothers to make new New stuff. See, in 2016, they made all these cool game modes. They're like, oh, let's have snowball fights and and Lucio Ball and all that stuff. And then they're like, you know what? Those were pretty cool. Let's just keep releasing those over and over and over with some slight adjustments. But the one time that they actually feel the need to release new, genuine, bona fide content is the archive events. And it's not just any content, it's PvE content. PvE is my favorite game mode, not just in Overwatch, in any game. But the other cool thing about when it happens in Overwatch is that it's also pretty much the only time where they bother to give us more lore. The first time they had something cool happening in the Omnic Wars, the next time we got to go into Blackwatch, something a little bit darker, and if you want my honest opinion, what I think is coming this time around, I think they're going to continue their path to darkness and take us straight into Talon, because they just added Baptiste, right? He used to work for Talon, and that puts the number of heroes who works for Talon, who have not appeared in a previous Archive event, is up to four. We've got Widowmaker, Doomfist, Sombra, and Baptiste, and I bet we're going to follow them on some Talon mission that happened back in the day which sounds completely awesome but you know even if I'm wrong it's possible they're gonna go some completely different route I mean maybe they do something in Junkertown or something with Ash's hoodlums though they would probably wait until the Junker Queen or Echo respectively were actually released uh, but who, who cares? More Archive is great. More competitive 6v6 elimination is great. Pretty much anything new in Overwatch is great because we haven't really been getting a lot of stuff other than Overwatch Season 2. Which I can't complain about because Overwatch Season 2 has been awesome as well. Uh, but this map is rounding off and I don't want this video to go too long so I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're all enjoying spring and not summer like I said in my last video. Uh, so anyway, I'll catch you all later. Peace. This is Abigus with the Spuff of Legends signing out. Nice. What did I tell you, man?